Age 50 is a good time to stop and take stock of your life and your health by getting those extra medical tests done, especially on your heart. Just ask Dr. Richard Burquist. Taking his own advice on this may have saved his life. Lloyd, how are you doing? Uh, not too good. Community medical provider's physician Richard Burquist advises all of his patients over 50 to do an exercise stress test every year. And if there are signs of trouble on the treadmill, to follow that up with cardiac catheterization, an x-ray look for blocked arteries. See uh, if there's anything that's been abnormal on your chest. But it's advice he resisted following for himself. After all, he had no risks or symptoms of heart problems. I'm a big believer in exercise and I try to get in a good uh, six hours of exercise per week uh, as much as possible. I love to hike in the mountains and ski in the winter and uh, rollerblade and kayak. I thought I was doing fine, my cholesterol was good, I never had chest pain. Four years ago, before his annual mountain trek, Dr. Burquist took the precaution of seeing cardiologist Donald Gregory. The treadmill test wasn't what either doctor expected wasn't strikingly abnormal, but surprisingly that it was because it didn't really have risk factors. Dr. Burquist's next step was cardiac catheterization at Fresno Heart and Surgical Hospital. It was a step he delayed taking for a few years. He continued to climb mountains and kayak, believing he was fine because he had no symptoms of heart trouble. Well, I was a little worried myself that it was a much bigger deal than it is. He shouldn't have been worried. Catheterization is quick, nearly painless, and the only test that's 100% accurate in finding blockages. You don't feel it. There's no nerve endings. You can be awake and watch if you like. And this little catheter tube uh, finds the arteries of the heart, and with a liquid contrast dye, it outlines the vessel. You can see if there's blockages. Um, test doesn't take long, and it's really very precise and accurate. Dr. Burquist was shocked at what he saw during this close-up look at his arteries. I was expecting fully that everything would be absolutely normal. Well, that was a surprise. We got into the uh, catheterization and I had a very large and dangerous lesion. The blockage was in a place where your first heart pain could be your last. At the moment that it closes, and his was 95% closed, but the moment it turns into 100, there's no more blood flow to the front of his heart and he starts losing that heart muscle. That is his heart attack. I was in disbelief. I couldn't believe that was me on the, on the screen, to be honest. <laughs> well, uh, in a very quick time, Dr. Gregory went in with a balloon and opened up the lesion and slipped in the stent. Dr. Burquist is back on smooth water since he heeded his own advice to get a full cardiac check. He'll be right back on top of the half dome soon, I'm sure, with his son and anybody else who wants to challenge the, the mountain. Part of the reason that I want everybody to know this story is so that they will know what their cholesterol is and what their own heart risk is. Okay. And if one man can, can come in and get checked, I think it's well worth it. Well, you heard it straight from the patient or er, doctor's mouth. Even if you think you're the picture of health at age 50, get your heart and arteries checked to make sure. Anyone with symptoms of heart problems, such as shortness of breath, fatigue, dizziness, frequent nausea, and chest pain should definitely be tested for possible blocked arteries, even if you haven't reached 50 yet.